Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandon and around here you can expect a number of videos on a variety of fabulous topics, including fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, and unboxings. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stick around. All right guys, so for this week's video, I thought it was timely to do a review of one of the bags that I unboxed here on my channel. This is my cherry red Marc Jacobs tote bag in the size small. I unboxed this with you guys a few weeks ago, which I will link that unboxing below. In that video, I did a general first impression on this bag. I was very excited for the color and jumped right into using this as soon as I got it unboxed. My opinion from the unboxing has not changed. This cherry red is absolutely stunning. So I haven't had any issues styling this bag with my outfits. This color goes with pretty much everything I own. So it's been really nice to just throw whatever I want on knowing that this fantastic cherry color is going to match. In terms of quality, this bag is exactly as you would expect from Marc Jacobs, which is one of the higher end contemporary designers available today. So I have no real notes on the quality of the bag, the leather, or the hardware. As I briefly discussed in my unboxing video, the crossbody strap is the same color and hardware finish as the bags. And I think it's really one of the best crossbody straps that comes with a standard bag. All right, since I don't really have any notes about the quality of this bag, I thought I would jump in and do a what's in my bag to show you guys how much this tote can actually fit. Starting on the outside of my bag, I have this adorable pocket back holder from Bath & Body Works. I also have it attached to my bag using this little leather key ring holder. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is called, but if you have a better solution to hanging sanitizers on your bag um, with a handle that's quite thick like this, let me know. So I've got this bag stuffed. There's a ton of things in here. It's quite heavy and there's still plenty of room for more. Since I've been vlogging the weekends, the first thing in my bag is a little vlog tripod with the MagSafe holder on there. This is really super useful and it makes vlogging a little less awkward. So I keep that. Next up is my coach zipper case. This keeps a lot of things in here, primarily um, little one-time use wipes like the shout to go wipes. I also have some dental picks in here, Advil, some Carmex just in case. This is my item that I have to have in all of my bags um, and it's one that if the bag doesn't fit this, the bag is too small. Next up are the two items I keep my cards in. The first is my Michael Kors card case. The next is this Dooney & Burke zipper case that I keep all of my rewards cards in, as well as the front pouch keeps change. In the same vein as the vlogging tripod, I have a little ring light that clips onto my phone. This is my work phone that I carry with me. Next is my sunglass case. I've mentioned this before, but my glasses all have um, special clip-on sunglasses. So I keep a thin glasses case in my bag. Next up is a battery bank from Morphe. I'm actually replacing this with a MagSafe um, battery pack now that I have a phone with, that is capable of that. Two fairly self-explanatory items, a mirror and some mints.
my AirPods. Now this is really handy, especially with this battery pack, is a little cord and dongle organizer. It has a little cord here that's USB-C to USB-C, um, but it also has micro USB, USB-A, um, and lightning dongles in there. Since my new phone has USB-C, I don't need this one anymore, but this is a good thing to have just in general if you're out and about and need to charge something. Next up is a pill case with just a backup day's worth of vitamins. So that was everything that I had in the main compartment. Now I just have this little pocket here where I've got some gum, my little notepad, and the two lip products that I've been using, which I've talked about this a lot, so I'm not gonna delve too deep in it, the Fenty Heat. And right now I'm using the NYX Fat Oil Lip Oil um, for moisture. So that is everything that I keep in my bag. As you can see, there's quite a lot that fits in this. It does have a lot of capacity and there's definitely room for more. So I just wanted to show you that this is my iPad Air and it will fit inside of this bag here with lots of room to spare. Now this is a larger iPad Air. If you have a Kindle or smaller tablet, it will definitely fit without any issues. I forgot I also wanted to show you guys this bag crossbody. As a reminder, I am 5'10 and 200 pounds, and I think this bag looks great and is proportionate to my size. I also like to carry this bag with the top handles with the strap wrapped around it, and I think that it looks very nice. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that top down what's in my bag. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Your engagement really helps me stay motivated to create these videos, which I've really been enjoying doing, and I love seeing your guys' comments and chatting with you about these topics. As I'm relatively new to YouTube, I haven't really committed myself to a posting schedule. However, I found that posting two videos a week, typically on Fridays and Sundays, work best for me. So please keep an eye out on those days for new content. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at BVPVX. Thanks again so much for watching. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.